Hey guys, it's Jordan Beauty YT, and today I'm talking all about Hooters. I'm gonna let you guys know all the secrets about Hooters. I am spilling the tea on Hooters today. This has been one of my, since I made my Twin Peaks video, this has been my most highly requested video. So, before I get started, let me just say, this is my mom's Hooters shirt. She was a Hooters girl when she was my age. And so, this is Augusta, Georgia. I did not work at that location. I worked in Colorado. And this is the old shirt. The owl does not look like this anymore. If you've been to Hooters, you know. If you're a Hooters girl, then you know that. This is the old one. But, um, I just decided to wear this one. So, the first thing I want to mention about Hooters is how to get hired. How do you get hired at Hooters? So, there's a couple of things that are very important when it comes to being hired at Hooters. You pretty much can't really have any tattoos. So I have this one and I got it after I worked at Hooters. If you have a tattoo like that, you have to cover it with makeup. As long as it's small and you can cover it, then that's fine. But they do not, if you have like a sleeve or anything like that or a big chest piece or anything, you can count yourself out. You cannot work at Hooters. You can work at some peaks with tattoos, but you cannot work at Hooters. So, that's one of the most important things also you do have to be pretty i wouldn't say like toned or anything but you they do not hire overweight girls they're not supposed to sometimes i mean i don't know whatever but yeah they don't hire overweight so you do have to be fit and toned you're basically being hired on kind of like twin at twin weeks you're hired on as a model i don't remember what our contract is i'm pretty sure it's the same thing so um our contract their contract I don't work at Hooters anymore so first of all you need to go on with confidence don't not cockiness but confidence um, you need to be ready your hair needs to be done makeup should be done don't go in wearing a bunch of makeup like what I have on would be fine um, you can't don't go in like wearing red lipstick and stuff but go on looking you know ready and wear a cute outfit or whatever. Maybe wear a bombshell bra, which is what I have on right now. Looks like I got a freaking boob job. But no, I have my bombshell bra on. And um, yeah, just go in. When you ask for your application, make sure you hand it in to a manager. And that's what I did, and I got hired on the spot. So also, I worked at 10 Peaks before, so it looked good. You know, that I knew what I was doing already. The next thing I want to talk about is how you move up in the company quickly. So I only, I worked from tw at Hooters from July, I want to say, July or June. I'm going to say July, from like the beginning of July to December, the f first or second week of December. So I only worked there for like six months. And within that six months, I moved to a head waitress and I got trained to be a bartender. So honestly... I'm not even gonna front with you guys. I feel like I was like, I feel like at the Hooters I worked at there were favorites and there's always favorites at job places usually and that sucks. But luckily for me, I was one of the favorites and that kind of helped me from moving up in the company. Uh, respect your managers, that's a big key. Like put them on a pedestal. Don't like kiss their ass, but put them on a pedestal. Like respect them, give them the utmost respect even when they piss you off. Um, Get friendly with the girls, you know, be friends with them, hang out with them outside of work, you know, especially the ones who have been there for a long time. And don't use these people, like, to get up in the company, but I'm saying, like, these are things that can help you. Um, but yeah, just, um, if you've never waitressed before, just try to be the best at, that you can be. Like, not even the best you can be, try to be the best there. Like, you know, when you go into work you wanna, and you're a waitress, you want to be the best waitress. You want to be running food all the time, um, always doing something, and that catches the manager's eyes. Never, like, sit on your ass, sit on your phone, do this, that. Just always be doing something. Um, these are tips I can give you guys, and these are things I did. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is promos. The promos for Hooters are so fun. I think this video is not going to be that long. But the promos for Hooters are so much fun. Um, I remember I did, we did some banquet thing and that was fun. And you get paid for these. And then we did, I did a race car thing, a golf tournament. Like the promos are so fun. So always sign up to do the promos. The golf tournament was probably my most favorite. Because we got to drive around on golf carts and just like literally do nothing and get paid for it. And it was so much fun. And it was in the mountains and it was just so pretty. And we had so much fun. So definitely do promos 
if you work there, if you want to work there, that's the thing you can look forward to is doing promos. And if you do work there, you can also try to be in the calendar, which I never made it that far because I only worked there for six months. And I, there's a reason I quit, but also because the location I worked at was not that good and the money was not that good. So I didn't stick it out to try to be in the calendar, but I have friends who are in the calendar, have been in the calendar, and it really does seem to like, I don't know, they seem really happy about it, it seems like they really like it, and they get to go to like these islands and stuff, and do the pageant, also do the Hooters pageant, because um, if you win, you get to go to like Vegas and stuff, it's so cool. Hooters has a lot of opportunities, and if I had to pick to work at Hooters or Twin Peaks, just one, either one, I would work at Hooters. I had a lot more fun there, and I just feel like the way they run their business is a lot better than the way Twin Peaks runs their business. Um, my location that I worked at just wasn't bad and people are saying Hooters is like going away or whatever and it's like dying down and that could be true and if it is that's sad because I really liked working at Hooters and I love the food so and <clears throat> so the next thing on my list of Hooters things um, why I quit okay so this is where the story time starts so if you came just to see the story time I will tell you to skip to 7.30 because this is where I am starting my story time. So, around December, like the beginning of December, around the 19th, that's when I got hired at the place I work now. Um, I'm not sure if I've told you guys where I work, but I'm going to tell you. I work at as a bartender and a cocktail waitress at a gentleman's club, and I love my job. So. I know lots of comments go ahead you guys can flood my comments with questions about that and I probably will make a video on that so December 19th is when I got hired and I quit probably like two weeks later I quit Hooters so um where do I start okay so I remember I did my training or whatever um, and I was working on a set on a Sunday at the gentleman's club that I work at now and I was working in double so I worked from 2 to 2 so 2 in the afternoon to 2 o'clock in the morning and that is a long shift with and I had no break that day I didn't get a break usually we'll get an hour break and I'll leave and then come back or whatever but I didn't get a break that day I worked 12 hours straight and I was still new so I was like it was a very long day for me because I was still new. I knew how to bartend and everything, and it's way easier to bartend there than it is at Hooters. But I was still new, still learning how to do certain things that we do at the club that you don't do there. And at that club, you also deal with a lot more money than you do at a gentleman's club. You deal with a lot more money than you deal with in a restaurant. So it's very important to be to do everything right because you mess up, you get fired because you can't. They can't risk you fucking up large sums of money and so it was a very long day for me a long shift but I did really well that shift and I ended up making $700 um, during that 12-hour shift which is really good so I'm gonna do the math really fast and that was uh, I have made lots of money at this club but that was the first time I made that much um, and I just started working there so I'm like wow like this is amazing so we're gonna divide that by hours so I made $58 an hour that night like if you divide it out so that was amazing and at Hooters I was working eight hour shifts and making $50 so as you can see I saw what I was making there and I was like wow whatever but I didn't want to quit because you know I wasn't well I didn't plan on quitting yet because I was like I mean I don't want to just like quit on them I do like my manager um, I don't want him to just have to for me to just quit and him have to like find a replacement because I bartend and waitress so they'd have to like shade that'll just shake shit up and because I did care about most of my bosses and my staff I don't want to fuck anybody over and have people working extra to pick up my slack and so so I worked that 12-hour shift on a Sunday and then that next Monday was football Monday and it was the Broncos game. And the Broncos, as you know, last year they went to the Super Bowl, they did really well. So we were always so crowded, so, so packed. We'd get so busy during the Broncos games. And I was so tired from working that 12-hour shift. So I gave my, and I like get off at two, but you don't really leave till three because you have to clean the bar and do all this extra stuff. So I really didn't get home till like 3.30 that night, right? So anyways, 
So I'm tired about this, tired during the shift. So at Hooters, I keep saying so, I'm sorry guys. At Hooters, they have these things called trump cards. I know why they're called that. They're called trump cards and you can use it to get off first. So when they make cuts off the floor, if you have whoever has a trump card leaves first and then they go from there. So I didn't have any trump cards. I asked my friend Mackenzie, I was like, do you have one? I'll buy it from you. I bought it for her for like $15, $20 or something like that, which is like unheard of. No one does that. I had just made that money, something, whatever, yeah, here. And so she gave me the card or whatever, and I gave it to my boss. So we had this new boss, and we're going to call him, we're going to call him Roach, because I don't like him, and I don't like roaches, so we're going to call him Roach, and his name starts with an R, so... He was the new manager and he was a dick and I had only worked with him like two times before this. And he was such a dick and I knew he was. And so I gave him the car or whatever and he was like, okay, cool, you're cut. And so I just started doing all my side work. I bust all the bus tubs or whatever, took all the bus tubs back, cleaned the whole like station or whatever, waitress station, whatever the fuck. All my tables and all my caddies and everything. All this takes a while, so I did all that stuff. I did all my cleaning or whatever and I'm like okay so he made cuts or whatever now I did all my stuff you go ask the head waitress to check it so I told her to go check my stuff she went to go check it and then she signed off that I could leave and then um so I got the thing signed and then I went to the manager I'm like okay I can leave he's like okay he like told me because I was um I fa was facing the wind, like the food window, like waiting for food to come out. He's like, you don't need to face the food window. You need to face the door and greet guests. I'm like, whatever. He said that to me earlier. So I'm waiting for him to let me leave because he has to like print my check out and everything. So I'm sa I asked him and he's like, hold on or whatever. He's being an asshole about it. That's not even the really words he used. I don't know, but whatever. And so I'm waiting and I'm facing the door. And one of the girls was already, she already did her checkout and everything. So she had her clothes on and there was food in the window and she ran it. And this girl like was always doing the most because she wanted to move up in the company. And she had been working there for like a year and a half or two years or something like that. And she didn't move up at all. And so she was always trying to do the most to move up. And he saw her running it and she didn't even have like, she had regular clothes on. And he's like, why is she running food and you have your uniform on, you're still on the clock, and you're not running it. I'm like, well, I didn't see the food in the window because you told me to face the door and greet the customers. And he was like, um, well, since she's running food, you're not leaving. You're not leaving. I was running on like three hours of sleep, you guys. You're not leaving. So... Let me like just let you guys know I was PMSing as well and I have the biggest temper. I have a really extremely, extremely bad temper that I'm trying to work on right now and my blood just started boiling and I started to see red and he said, excuse you, did you just say I'm not leaving? And he's like, nope, you can stay till the end of the night until we close and I was like, that's funny because I am leaving and I'm not coming back. So then he started arguing with me instead of just saying, okay, whatever. He started arguing with me and we started arguing on the floor. And I was yelling at him and I was pointing in his fucking face and shit. So I was pissed. And mind you, this was during a Broncos game and we were doing this on the floor in front of all these motherfucking customers. And I was just yelling at you guys. I was going ham hey, because I was so fucking mad. I was so mad. Oh my God. And... So I took, we have wear these like pouch things and I took it off and I threw it and I went to the back and I like slammed the like kitchen door open and I threw, I was like, I don't need this shit. I took my book, I took the money out, I threw it out. I'm like, I don't need this fucking money. I don't need these $50, you guys, which I'm not even trying, like that was just me being an anger or whatever. I'm not trying to like not be grateful, but I was angry at the time. It's like, I don't need this. I was like, you need this more than me. I was going off when I was like talking so much shit to his face. Like, he was kind of big. He's a bigger guy. So I'm sure I was talking about that. Sure mentioned that and then I realized when I was about to leave I'm like fuck I can't leave because I didn't have my name tag so I had to borrow a name tag so I left my phone in the office as collateral so make sure you bring give the name tag back and so I'm like fuck so I went back out there I didn't yell at him I'm like you need to give me my phone you just go into the office unlock the door and give me my fucking phone and he was like um 
yeah, he was calling me young lady. He's like, young lady, you can wait. And he was yelling. So, you know, when you're mad, when you're dealing with an angry person, the worst thing you can do is yell back because that just makes it worse. That just escalates the situation. So he's making me more mad because he's trying to yell at me and I'm yelling at him. And I'm like, no, you need to fucking open the door. And so he finally goes back there to do it. He goes to unlock the door. And I like push the door open and I'm like, give me my phone. He's like, you need to let me get it. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm a grown ass woman. Like, I'm, I'm gonna get my phone. So I went over there and I grabbed my phone or whatever. And he's like, get out, stop going through the stuff. Blah, 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 while I'm doing it. He's so stupid. Anyways, and so then I grabbed my bag, grabbed my stuff, and I did. So that story time is quick, but that's how I quit. And I realized I didn't need to work there because I did like my new job a lot better. And he was just, I couldn't deal with that, his attitude anymore. And, you know, maybe I shouldn't have quit that way, but I was really angry. And you do things that you wouldn't normally do when you're angry. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these quick tips on how to get hired at Hooters, how to move up on Hooters, and why I quit Hooters. Um, if you guys have any questions, I will be happy to answer them in the comments below. And Happy New Year's. I will see you guys in my next video.